And welcome back. Today we have a comment from God of War 1. Could you do a tutorial on how to make a character change palettes during the intro? That's pretty simple and I uh, should be able to get this out quick. Um, essentially, you go to the character, you go to the command, and I like to add these commands if I'm using something like this. Uh, up, down, left, and right, or back, forward, whatever you want to use. Uh, the difference from these versus these uh, where are they? The hold commands is that the hold commands are constantly active as long as the key is pressed down, whereas this I press up and it's only counted once. If I press up here, if I do hold up, it's gonna continuously set up, so it'll just scroll through the um, palettes like crazy. We don't need that, so we just need these commands. You can copy and paste it. Um, now we go to the states, go to the negative three. And we're going to use a var add code. The var add basically says if it's round one and I press up, uh, I'm going to use variable 30. If you want to find out what variables you can use, you hit this little icon here that says var and hit OK. And it'll tell you what variables are being used and where. So I'm using 30. And uh, I have a little note here basically. Um, so if I press up, var 30 is going to add one. If I press down, var30 is going to take away one. You can also put this to forward and back, whatever you want to use. I just used up and down for this example. And then I also used and uh, and and uh, variable 30 greater than zero, meaning it cannot go below zero. It won't. This won't work if it's a zero or below. And then this one is to limit it, because Kung Fu Man only has six palettes. I don't want him to be able to go over the max number and then ends up with like one of these colors or something like he's fine here 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 but if he goes next it's just black like these aren't really this looks kind of cool any particular color so I don't want him going up to those uh, numbers plus it also causes the bug flood which you don't want it's not a bad thing per se but if you're coding you want it to be as clean as possible functioning as clean as possible and then you have a remap pal it only works in the first round and it has to be round state uh, less than two. Round state two is when you're actually fighting. Zero is that fade in from black to the screen. And then one is the intros. So from the time it's fading into the intros, you could change color. So um, the source is always one one and the dest is like the destination, I guess. It's gonna put uh, one, group one, index one plus var 30 which we know will be plus or minus one if you press up and down. And then I have a little visual indicator here because you need to, you don't need it, but it helps if you have something so that people can see up and down as palettes. And make your animation negative one time. And then I have a remove X plot to remove it when it's in the middle of the match. So we're just gonna show how this works. As you can see, I can pick his colors, and he's stuck with it. Now, by default, uh, the palette selector will reset uh, between rounds. So what you need to do is you need to copy state 5900 into your character, which is the initialized state. And in my case, what I did was I disabled the change palette back to whatever it is. I just disabled it. I commented it out. So it's disabled. Because if you don't have this here, um, this is what happens to you. Now oh, let's go yellow. Okay, so I kill him. And then round two, and back to regular. So you need to comment this out for it to work properly. And this will keep the same palette between rounds. Essentially, that's it. So. Make your commands for your single inputs. Make your var adds, up or down, left and right, whatever you want it to be, your plus, your minus. And then make your remap pal based on one plus the variable, so the number. And then you can do whatever kind of indicator you want and then the removal of the indicator. Then you go to initialize, you make the state, and then you just add, you comment out the remap pal. And that's it, you are good to go. If you want your character to have a shit ton of colors, you just have to alter 
uh, this number based on um, whatever number of pallets you have. That's it. This was quick. This was simple. I know I, I kind of do them out of order. I do more recent uh, comments than older ones. Some comments require more work. I'm quite lazy. But I've been busy with stuff, you know, just living life and all that stuff. Um, excited for the new Fatal Fury. The two weird characters are... I, I can't get over that. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird killjoy for me. But I do love that there's a new Fatal Fury. So I'm excited for that. And the Marvel's Capcom 2 collection. Not Marvel's Capcom 2. The Capcom Fighting Collection 2. I'm excited for that too for Power Stone and Project Justice. But I know I have more tutorials to do. I got the... Um, the freeze tutorial and the spirit tutorial to do and i kind of started them but uh yeah thanks for watching bye bye one to the kidney two to the dome that's left right left right left right go gonna roll it for the brunch and the panic for the show that's left right left right left right go